I'm exact weather meteorologist Jay Gallet, and thanks for logging on to your tropical weather update. Let's head out to the tropics. We'll make our first stop over there in the eastern Pacific, where there's quite a lot of activity. A couple of tropical storms out there. We've got Tropical Storm Karina and Tropical Storm Lowell, Katrina, uh, Katrina, Karina, I should say. Tropical Storm Karina uh, is right now a tropical storm with winds of 50 miles per hour and lower, Lowell, 70 miles per hour. Both of these will stay tropical storms and they're going to kind of meander out here in the open waters of the Pacific, not really bothering anyone. A little bit closer to Mexico. This area of disturbed weather right here is a big, broad area of low pressure, has a high 70% chance of becoming a tropical system over the next two to five days. And as we focus on the Atlantic basin, notice this area of low pressure. This is a, a, an area we should keep an eye on. But right now, it's starting to look like this is going to be less and less a problem for us as it stands at the moment. Nonetheless, a medium 50% chance of this becoming a tropical system over the next couple of days, says the National Hurricane Center. Now, notice this is a very large and broad area of low pressure. And as we look at how much dry air is around it, there is some dry air right here. This is trying to be wrapped around in it, some dry air to the northwest. So I think it was dealing with dry air. It's starting to look like it's dealing with less and less dry air. The other factor that we look at when we're looking for tropical development is the amount of uh, or how fast the winds are in the upper level. And as you can see, we call that wind speed, those fast upper level winds. And we do have a little bit of shear right here, and that's in response, I believe, to this area of low pressure. So we've got a uh, little bit of dry air, lingering dry air, and still a fair amount of strong upper level winds. That will inhibit development in the short term. In the long term, it could develop and possibly become a tropical depression. Now, the forecast models, I'll show you that in a moment, bring it across Hispaniola and parts of Cuba. Now, the mountains in these two island areas here are very tall. That's always disruptive to a tropical system. Now, when I show you the spaghetti plots here, keep in mind, nothing has formed yet, and the models are still guessing at the center of circulation. You can see it kind of clustered right here. And as we put this in motion, and notice how wide and spread out the models are, basically from the Bahamas, Bahamas all the way out into the open waters of the Atlantic. And I think part of the reason that exists is because, A, it's a very broad area of low pressure. B, the center of circulation is still guessing at it, and one little outlier model brings it to just south of Cuba. We'll look at one more model, once again, with keeping in mind, nothing has formed yet. And we're still guessing at the center of circulation. And as we put this in motion, we'll go out over the next five days. This model so kind of in line with the spaghetti plot, keeping this out in the open waters of the Atlantic, off the coast of the southeastern United States. And as it stands right now, this does not appear to be a problem for southeastern Louisiana, so that's good news. Of course, we'll keep an eye on it for you and let you know if anything else changes. But right now, I'm exact weather meteorologist Jay Galley, and thanks for logging on to your tropical weather update.